Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from Beckley's Kamek Center today to show you the all new 2020 Avia by New Camp or Avea. I, you know, I, I mispronounce these names sometimes, so just please bear with me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to be notified when I'm doing a new video, click that little bell right next to it and you will be notified. For more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy. I will have the pricing specifications as well as my contact information at the end of the video and below. So let's get on to this camper. Now the cool thing about this dinette, it's very spacious, but what's really even more impressive is this table. It will move, you could move it around. You could push it away from you. You could move it back, move it to the left, move it to the right. And then of course it does lay down to make this a big bed. By the way, I'm gonna link a video down below that I did. It's a very comprehensive video showing you all the nooks and crannies of this particular um, trailer. So let's get on to the rest. This trailer is going to come in at about 5,600 pounds dry weight with all the options on it that it has. Right now, you can see they have lights up in the front here, which you can turn on from the inside. But under here, for this area, nice thing is this has struts that hold it up. Now, right now, they have 30-pound bottles. You can always switch those down to 20-pound bottles if you wanted to. You can see you have a nice spare in there. And notice how it's the same rim that you have on the outside. See nice little storage up in this area. The batteries are up underneath of the dinette booth. You have two six volt AGMs. Now this is a very impressive tongue jack here. Not only will it have a power tongue jack, but th and this thing, it moves rather quickly. But it also has for your stabilizer jacks. Now remember, they're stabilizers, they're not levelers. That's one thing you gotta remember. On your off-door side, you're gonna have your outside shower, black tank rinse, your water hookup, electric. Everything is right here, accessible. And they have a nice little light right up here. This is a nice little light so that if you get to your campsite in the dark, at least you have a way of seeing what you're doing. Now on your door side, you're gonna see you have you have a nice big awning, outside stereo speakers, 110 outlet. You can see your storage door right here. You can access this area from inside underneath the bunk. This is where you turn on that front lights underneath on the front. And then this is your battery disconnect. Notice how it was magnetically held up and they're slam latch doors. You see the same door that you see in your tabs. Same type of windows, they're dual pane windows, and they're nice and, and tinted, keeping, you know, keeping it more private for the inside. Now your door back here, this, this is quite special what they've done. They've actually made this door a little bit bigger. You have a light in here. And again, I have all the dimensions for this one in my other video, very extensive video that I did before. But this is your storage. Thing already comes with the rear observation camera already mounted for you so that's part of the package and the really cool thing that they have here and I don't know if you could see it I know it's it's daytime but this has its lights that's shining against you can see them shining against the uh, fiberglass there the other cool thing they do is they're gonna number each one so this is number five we have here at Beckley's Camping Center just like the tabs, you're going to see you have the screen door that's right in there. I wish you could see it when it's, when it's uh, open there. Or if you want to say it's closed, whatever. At least you're not going to be going walking through it. So let's take a look at the inside. So the first thing you're going to notice around the dinette is it has massive windows. You've got a window to the left and the right in front of you and then above you and you can set it where you have the screen 
so you can see out or you can set it where it's um, privacy you can have the speakers up in the left hand corner and in the right hand corner as well as your USB and 110 outlets are going to be right there so that is the dinette booth area now as far as storage under your dinette you're going to have storage to the right you're going to have storage to the left but the ones in the back here, this one back here, this is where you're going to have, there's an Air 8 air conditioning system, your uh, batteries, and your inverter is back there. So as you can see, the telescoping table, and then what you have back there, that's a subwoofer, and that's just a vent because you have your, um, your inverter back there, just a way for it to uh, ventil give a little ventilation for that compartment there under the, underneath. It's also where your air conditioner is, so it's actually be able to pull air through there for the um, Air 8, giving you the air circulation. Now the Air 8, they, that is ducted in three locations in here. So you have it one here, you have another one over the refrigerator, and then you have one back in the bedroom, up top right there. Now I got the power vent fan on right now because I don't have the air conditioner running. Now this also comes with, so you have the Air 8, which is 6500 BTU air conditioning, contrary to what it says in the manual, and I'm waiting for clarification on that from Elway Corporation, uh, but you have a 13.5 air conditioner in this right here as well. Looking at your kitchen, you can see you have nice cabinets. Now the way they're latched is you actually have to push the button to, to unlock them, as you can see, it locks on the inside. Now for this particular one, you're actually getting three bottles of wine from a winery, compliments of New Camp. Now for your kitchen area, you see you have nice little um, counter space. When you're not using the three burners, that's additional counter space. But look at how easy it makes it for cleaning up. You can just rinse it right down into the sink. Makes it very easy for cleanup. So what I really like about their cabinets is you just push on them and notice how they're self-opening. Look at all that storage coming through there. Now one thing you're going to love on this one is the Fusion AM FM stereo. It's also Bluetooth. It's, wi it's set up for Wi-Fi, Cirrus XM ready. It has subwoofer plus speakers. You're going to have speakers in the bedroom, you have speakers in the front here, you have speakers outside, and you can control them all right here. It even comes with a cover, so that way if you have guests sleeping up here, the light isn't going to bother them. So again, additional storage space here for counter space and as well as cabinet space and so forth. Nice thing is, again, when you're, when you're opening these cabinets, when they have dual, um, when they have dual catches, as you can see this particular cabinet does, you've gotta make sure that you push it in the middle. If you just push on one end, it will not open up properly. You see, that's a very deep cabinet there. For this TV, it's set up so you can go ahead and put your own uh, DVD player on here. It has the HDMI as well as the USB. You can go ahead and connect and that'll play through the TV. And then of course you have more power back here both USB and 110. Now down below here this is where you're going to have your microwave. Now I'm not sure why but they did put this microwave on a um, sliding drawer so you can actually pull it out. Not sure why you'd want to do that but um, it is here right here next to the microwave this is your switch right here for turning on or turning off your subwoofer and then you can see that little tube back there in the back that is for bleeding the Aldi system something you're really going to like about this kitchen is the way that they have used every bit of space You've got that there. You've got a nice little spice rack here if you wish. So you've got kind of like two big spice racks or pantry spaces. Now your refrigerator here, this is a five cubic foot refrigerator. It has a crisper down the bottom. 
You can put your adult beverages down there if you wish, or some vegetables and so forth. And you can see the refrigerator, good size refrigerator for space. And then of course you have your freezer. As you see, it also comes with one of those really cool ice makers. Make some really cool pieces of ice with that. So for the Air 8, this is where you would control your Air 8. And by the way, I have a video on how to utilize that thermostat. And it will be remote control eventually. Right now it's not available, but one day they're telling me they will have a remote control feature for it. For your 13.5 air conditioner, right up here in the ceiling. You've got privacy doors to shut off the bedroom there. And also for this toilet area, the real cool thing is, is you can see how small it is right here, right now. So you really don't have any leg room, but it does have the wall where you can extend it. Let me show you what I just did. So you see how you've extended that. And now then you can close the doors inside here to give you your privacy. So now you can see how much leg room you have here. You've got a nice little fold down sink, cup holder, towel holder, toilet paper holder, all that is quite convenient there. That's what the sink looks like. And then up above, you're going to have medicine cabinet on either side. And notice the mirror. There's your cups, a little soap dispenser. You have a light switch right here, 110 outlet, and then again, more medicine cabinet space. Now also in your bathroom and the shower, you have your vents very easy to put on, and that'll exhaust the fumes for you. Now looking at the shower, shower walls do not pull out. You see you have light in there. Nice stand-up shower, place to put your washcloth, your soaps, and so forth. And then also notice it has a little uh, little step in there, making it easier for you. you need to shave your legs or whatever. And as I mentioned, it does have that little vent. And then you also have the skylight for additional height. That's in both the shower and the bathroom. Now going into the bedroom here. This bed does move up, and what that does, that gives you more room to walk around, as you can see. You've got little cabinets here on the corner. And the button's right there for shutting off your lights. Stereo speakers back behind the, uh, the bed there. You'll have a little remote control for the power vent fan, and that goes right in here. You could do it manually like I just did today if you wanted to. And then of course you have room for hanging some of your clothes. You can see the lighting up around the bed area as well as above your ceiling area here. More storage up over this area. And again, these are your the uh, dual pane windows and they're deeply tinted giving you lots of privacy even during the day when you want to have that but be able to see outside. Now I show all the storage up underneath this bed um, in, the, in the other video uh, that I'm going to be linking down below as well as the storage in all those other cabinets there for you. Give you another look at this bedroom area. You can see it comes with the TV in here. And then let's walk back out to the main area. Give you one last look here. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the brand new 2020 Avia, or Vea, um, by New Camp. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center here in Thurmont, Maryland, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Uh, for more information on, on this one here, I'm going to have the specs, pricing down below the video and at the end. And uh, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to my channel. We've got uh, lots of things going on, over 600 videos at this point, a lot of how-to videos as well as walkthroughs. Try to 
do something for everyone. And if there's a particular product that you'd like me to walk through, an RV, um, or if there's a, a particular system that you would like me to show you how it works or whatever, just uh, reach out to me. Be glad to see what I can do for you. But uh, do appreciate the you watching. Uh, put some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the about this new trailer by New Camp. You liking it? Um, what are you thinking? So very European style. So, but I do appreciate you watching, and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.